It feels good. It feels good to actually be back. You uh, know, come on, bro. It feels good to be back. You know, with my teammates. Uh, you know, just been active now, being able to run and stuff, <coughs> cut, you know, back pedal as well. So I mean, it's pretty cool. It's kind of easier to go back to defense after you had like a little few days in camp. Now. <coughs> Say it again. Is it easier to go back to defense now because you had those? It's pretty easy because uh, I mean, like I still, you know, like remember some of the stuff that they taught me back at Camp T. So uh, I mean, I'm kind of familiar with some of the techniques that they taught me. So it's pretty easy. You played some defense in high school too, right? Were you kind of really a two-way player? Or did you just play defense in certain games, certain downs? I played offensive defense in high school too. Uh, I mean, like I pretty much played everywhere. Same as you know the rest of my teammates. You know, I just played pretty much everywhere, like on the field. Was there anything you preferred? Special teams or offense? Uh, I just want to be on the field and help my team win. Manny, I don't know how close you guys have been offense and things like uh, efficiency numbers, but you know, as a group where you guys were last year, a really big step forward. Have you been able to feel how the offense running it at a much more efficient pace and really coming kind of clicking in this season? Um, you know, I think the biggest point would be that I think guys are getting week by week more and more familiar with uh, kind of who we are and what we do. Um, you know, we have a really good feel for, for what we're doing. Um, and it's just all about little things like in at the first drive of the game, if you get the first third, third down in the game. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Damn. Air um, then, you know, that gets things rolling a lot faster and, and guys get more comfortable and stuff like that. So it's just little things like that. It's just getting the thing rolling early. And, and when guys gain confidence with that, then, then that's how it should be. Well, we have a top five program in the country right now coming here to play on ESPN Saturday night. You know, I think guys are just, they're ready. Um, no, I mean, not the pressure is always to just go out there and win football games. Um, it doesn't matter who you're playing each Saturday, Thursday, Friday. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, you know, the goal is to win a football game. And we have, you know, such a prestige program coming in, like Washington, you know, well-coached well coached team, um, you know, a lot of playmakers, a lot of guys that, uh, there's a lot of guys in the D-line that can make some really big plays. There's a lot of vets in that on that group. Um, and there's some young guys who have some really big potential that they have out there playing. So, um, you know, we're, we're excited for, for the competition that's coming in. And, and it's just about handling what we do the right way um, and just controlling what we can control. And when adversity strikes, make sure that we strike right back. Um, you know, uniforms are uniforms. Um, that's how I look at it. But I mean, you know, it's cool for the for the environment, fans wise and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I, these are my favorite uniforms. Just to be same, be blunt. Black uniforms are the the, the cleanest look, sleekest look for us. Um, but uh, that being said, you know, as a football team, um, we just gotta dominate on all levels of the playing field: special teams, offense, defense, and uh, you know, gotta own the turnover ratio. Got to be plus three, um, and you know we just got to go out there and just play with play with all our heart and, and put it all on the field, and we'll, we'll come out with a win. Uh, I mean, I just take it as you know, just like a regular game. <clears throat> I mean, it's cool to play up on ESPN. Uh, I'm just you know, like I just look at it just as another game, to be honest. And find the cameras. And find the cameras. He's a find the camera guy. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and if, if you so you want me to get my secrets away? Some ah. secret juice. Um, I started off simple as um, the day after our game, after we get done watching uh, the previous week's game or whatever. Um, I just watch games through, just all the way through. I watch about three games, um, and then I'll watch the next day. I'll watch base downs, our base, our base uh, formations. You know how we play our game. You know, I'll watch that cut up. Then the next day, I'll watch third down cut ups, you know, four to six, one to three, seven to 10, plus, 11 plus. Um, and then I'll watch uh, backed up the next day, red zone. Um, and then 
then from there, like on a Friday or whatever, then I just kind of, I kind of watch the landmark, sh landmark uh, shots and stuff like that. Um, and then it's just watching games until game time. So. Did you ever watch uh, the opposing quarterback face this week? Or that I'm not worried about him. I'm not worried about him. I got to worry about when I step on the field. So, um, like I watched the game this past weekend. We had a bye, so I had the chance to sit down and watch a game and, you know, kind of enjoy the game and kind of get a feel for what they're doing. So it, it was good to see that. That's not a problem at all. Um, I'm actually excited to play both ways. Uh, <clears throat> you know, by this week, you know, it teach me like different techniques and you know just like different things upon defense to better myself to get prepared for this week because it's a big week and uh, you know like I'm just looking forward to it. They're not the same. They are quite different, actually. They lost some big-time playmakers. Secondary-wise, you know, they lost some some real guys. Um, that being said, you know, they have some some guys that they brought back in uh, that are talented and stuff like that. But um, you know, obviously, they lost fire, and it's a big, huge loss for them. Um, but I mean, my mindset. I mean, my mindset last year, I wanted to go in there and win the football game. Um, obviously, we didn't do that. Uh, but I think that as a quarterback and, and as a group, as a team. Um, I think we're a little bit more seasoned. We're a little bit more comfortable with each other. Um, so, you know, I'm really excited to see how this game is going to pan out uh, just because I, I know what we're capable of. And, you know, in the Pac-12, it's, it's any given Saturday. Anybody can beat anybody. And I think if we prepare the right way, if we continue to prepare how we've been preparing that, um, you know, it'll be good here on Saturday. So just the consideration of No, they're actually very similar. Um, you know, they do they do a lot of good things. They're, they they kind of let you know what they're going to do and tell you to beat it, really. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to, to our, getting our, our better guys and their lesser guys and, and let them go make a play. You know, with the diversity of this offense, a lot of people are disappointed with Sparky, but what's the play like Kyle Lee? It seems like any time it's like a, a non-Sparky, you know, trick play, you need to play Kyle Lee to Sparky. He was my personal breakout. I wanted him to have a real breakout year just because of how he works um, and, and he's been proving it every week. So, uh, you know, I just tell him every day that he comes out here to continue to, to give out as much effort as he does every day because um, it's going to pay off for him. So, um, you know, he's been helping us help us, uh, us out a lot. You know, he has a lot of a lot of his own things. We want to get that guy the ball in his hands early because um, he's a dynamic guy and can make something happen when the ball's in his hands. Um, that being said, it's the same thing with 89-1, you know, all these guys. So uh, it's just about, like I said, giving these guys the ball, letting them make one dude miss a tackle, and then now it's just games, fun and games, you know. Um, so I'm, I think that we'll, we'll, we have a really good plan to run the football um, that will really open up some things down the field for the passing game. John, have the coaches given you an idea of how much time you're going to get on each side of the ball? Uh, <coughs> As of right now, they haven't told me, you know, uh, you know, like I'm just expected, you know, to just go out there and just play, like whenever they tell me to just go out there. So I don't really know. You said you were working on some technical things defensively. Is there anything specific that you'd like to improve on defense? Uh, really, just, just really understanding, you know, like my coverages, you know, just in like pretty much like certain plays and stuff like that. Because I mean, coming from offense to defense at this level, you know, it's like. I would say it's more complex, but you know, I mean, they try to simplify it as much as possible to get me to understand it. Has it been tough to adjust the playbook on the one side of the field? Not at all. Not at all. Can you just be a boat? Hmm? What's the biggest challenge? Last question. The biggest challenge? Uh, I don't really see one, to be honest. I, I really don't see one. I really don't see one. Thank you.